Welcome back guys and today's project is this mower. This is a Troy built with a Honda engine on it. It is self propelled with the front wheels and we're just preparing this thing to use for the year. This is a little different video. This is one I picked off the side of the road for free but everything works on this. We just need to tune it up and get it ready to go for the year. All right let's get started with the super easy stuff. Let's check the air filter and see what we got in here. Filter's not bad. There's some junk in here though. Some stuff has been getting through. We'll have to take a look at that. Ah, look. Briggs and Stratton filter in a Honda motor. Not super tight. E3, E3.22 plug in it. It's got this goofy end on it. So, it was running good. There's not a lot of breakdown on there. Not a lot of metal gone. So, uh, we might leave that in there. Like I say, it was running good. This needs to be serviced for the year. It's not like we're jipping somebody on a service or something. All right, that's done, air filter's done. Let's take a look at our valves. Suck, it's the wrong one. Okay, I think it's work way better now. Hey, well, before we pull this off, we're gonna blow this off a little bit. Just so we don't get quite as much junk down in our engine. Good. Crack those loose. These are usually sealed on there really hard. The other thing I want to do is prop the front of this mower up so the oil runs to the back. There we go. This is the belt that runs in the oil. This is the camshaft. And it just has one lobe on it. Let me tie off the brake. Now we can see it turn. There's one lobe on this thing. This is the decompressor right there, so it starts easier. And it has one single lobe. Compression. Power. Here's exhaust. And then intake right after that. And you can see there's just very little valve overlap on these. And then we're back to compression again. And if we're on compression, we know that our valves can be set. All right, let's adjust our valves. We're incredibly loose. Really? I thought that was a 10. Turns out it's one of those odd things. It's a nine. I would say it's not too far to assume 
that uh, these valves have never been adjusted since it was new. I'd say that is not too big a leap of faith. That feels pretty good right there if it'll hold still while we tighten it up. And when we tighten it up, it draws this adjuster back just a bit as it binds the threads. And uh, that makes it just a touch looser. So I'm going to see if we can leave these this feeler gauge in here. Like that. And then uh, kind of do this. Turn this just a little bit. A blonde one or so. Still loose, but you know. Wow, we need more. That's a nice drag right there. It'll hold the feeler gauge, but I can push it through easily. That's what I'm looking for. And it's incredibly loose as well. Even more so than the intake. Just a little loose once again. That feels pretty good. It'll hold the gauge in place, but I can pull it out easily. Alright, we got our cover all gooped up and ready to put back on. Gonna zoom you out here a little bit. Anyway, we got that taken care of. We're gonna put this back in place ever so gently. Put our screws in. Check and see how tight they are. Never really trust impact wrenches. Another thing we want to do is we want to make sure that our cooling fins are clear. We can see these are mostly clear, not bad, but there is a little junk right up here at the front. So I'm going to take an air gun and blow all that out. So this thing will cool as absolutely well as it can.
That's pretty stinking good. We'll call that a win. Now I use a flappy wheel on these instead of just a grinding stone. And I like that better. It makes a little nicer cutting edge on it. You don't burn the metal quite as much. And it just doesn't remove it as fast. And I kind of like that. Yeesh. Junk everywhere. All right, that's the blade sharpened on this, sweetheart. And back on. All right, I want to blow out the cover. It's still kind of junky. I want to blow it out. There we go, that's back on. Now we are using Honda GN4 1030 oil. This is actually SJ oil, but it'll work just fine. Something to keep in mind on these, whenever you're checking the oil on Honda mower motors compared to other ones, is you don't screw the dipstick in. Right now we have an oil level right about there. So, well, chokey dokey the chokey. Pull the rope. Oh, gotta turn the gas back on. Spark plug. That's gonna have a lot to do with it. All right. Now then, she'll probably go. Well, that's everything for the engine. Uh, we got to do is grease the wheels and uh, I'm going to lube the cable too, especially the blade brake cable. It seems a little notchy, but I can't imagine wanting to watch that. So thanks for watching again. This mower outside of a good power washing is ready to go.